Hi everybody, this is uh, Patrick Altmeyer with Linux Mint 14. I'm going to give you a first look. I want to show you a couple of ways uh, to get this thing started. The first thing you want to do, I already have, have you see if I've already had it for about 24 hours now and I've installed certain things. I've installed my HP uh, printer drivers. And um, the first thing you want to do is on the shield here, you see the check mark. You're going to have an expl explanation, explanation uh, mark exclamation mark. You want to open that up and go through the installation process to do your updates. Right now I have no updates available because I have already updated it. But this is what it's going to go through and you're going to just follow whatever it says and then you're going to do your updates one at a time. Okay, see how mine is blank? Here's going to be filled with whatever is in here. It's going to already be pre-checked, so just hit Install Updates and just follow it through. And uh, it'll take about 10 minutes. Okay, now I want to show you how you can change the uh, little parts of the uh, Linux Mint 14 system. That's a little bit new, but it's pretty similar to 13. The new thing they have added is the System Information Panel you can find out what kind of a ethernet you know a lot of people say oh, I can't find the drivers for my uh, network controller my wireless card well here they'll show you exactly what it is scroll to the bottom under network controller and sometimes they do, you don't, can't remember your video card here it shows everything go to the operating system computer name, uptime, miscellaneous, this is the uh, what, what you're using, display, it's using the uh, x.org foundation, it's, right now it's using the generic um, the generic drivers but they work absolutely fine. During updates it'll automatically update the, uh, the uh, new ones. So you have everything that's available here. Okay, well, let's close this out. But now you know how to get the information on your drivers. And what you want to do is, since mine was the BCM4322, if you want to get the wireless to work, you're going to go back to Administration, open up Synaptic Package Manager, enter your password, your root password. And you saw mine was a BCM4322. So, I'm going to type in BCM. I have already installed it, but what you'll see is um, whatever your model number is, enter the first three letters, it should be here, then the wireless kernel source, and whatever this little star is, or sun you want to call it, choose that one. I have already ch installed it, so now it says mark for reinstallation, or mark for installation is what you'll have. Since I don't have to do that, I'm going to close out because right now I am hooked up wirelessly. Now if you need help, uh, go to the chat area here. As you see, all these people are online with questions on, on how to get things done. Feel free to ask questions here and use Linux chat for chatting. And uh, all languages are welcome. Anybody, I'll try again, but is it possible to dual or triple boot between the separate drives? see how somebody's already asking for help it's all you have to do and now let's go back and uh, I'll show you the graphics that are installed you got GIMP you got GThumb all these accessories the internet office open office sound and video system tools preferences this is um, how you want your background to look plus stuff like that let's go to cinnamon settings here you can go find whatever theme you like. I'm using the standard theme, the standard cinnamon theme, but you can use other ones if you like. Here's other uh, settings. It's using the Mint X, and you can choose any other one you want, which I don't want. But I did change the background on mine. It came defaulted with this one right here. The default background, but you saw I, I changed mine to the uh, end of the world uh, background. As you see, it's beautiful. 
Oh, you can create workspaces, general, you can, if you're having problems with your keyboard, it gives you a little bit of keyboard help. I just leave mine generic, the menu, menu PNG, you can even change that. Uh, activate on hover means you'd have to hover over it to get it to start. I don't like that. I just like showing it all the time. Anything else um, except for the fact that it's an awesome system? Uh, with network, you got your XChat. Wait, no, let me go to internet. You got your XChat, you got the pigged in. This is for like instant messenger. I'm going to add my Hotmail account, and you can see it'll hook me right up. You go to MSN, Microsoft. I'm going to enter my email address. Anybody's welcome to get a hold of me in chat at any time if you have a question. I'm going to remember the password, of course. And I'm going to add. Checking to see if my connection it is available, so now you can contact me at any time. My buddy list is now open. I can add buddies, I can do a new instant message, see if anybody's online, like I'll look for my brother. I'll see if he's around. Are you available? Error notification from server reading, modify account, reconnect. Okay, he must not be available. But anyway, that's all you got to do. I'm going to close out of this, close out of this. And now you see your version of Instant Messenger. And if you want to add a program to the panel on the bottom, all you got to do is right click on it. I like screenshots, so I'm going to type in screenshot. You saw it was in uh, graphics. Internet, office, sound and video system tools I'll just type it in the screen screenshot you right click on it and hit add to panel now it's on the bottom ready for me to use this takes uh, pictures of your uh, desktop it's a really good program you don't have to install any other one but to make it convenient because it keeps closing itself every time you save a video I mean an, uh, an image it closes itself so you want to keep it on the seat on the panel down here for instant access then it's no big deal all I do can say is this is one heck of an operating system you can add Chrome if you like but it comes default with Firefox which is a good system you can see it's nice and fast just as fast as anything else clean stable that's the whole thing is stable this will be my operating system for the next couple of years until Linux Mint 15 is released. This is Patrick Altmeyer um, saying stay tuned because eventually I will show you how to install an all-in-one network printer where it also works with a scanning device because that is huge. And uh, plus I'm going to show you how to um, use GIMP and other programs you know one step at a time short little videos so it's going to be a big help thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video and remember always do your screen recordings with the battery power not the AC power plugged in to stop buzzing Patrick Altmeyer out